Adrian Korbaugh was a Dutch scholar and writer who was a critic of religion and conventional morality. Life Adrian Korbaugh studied at the universities of Utrecht and Leiden, becoming a doctor in medicine and master in jurisprudence. He was one of the most radical figures of the Age of Enlightenment, rejecting and reviling the church and state as unreliable institutions and exposing theologians and lawyers' language as vague and opaque tools to blind the people in order to maintain their own power. Korbaugh put the authority of reason above that of dogmas and was thus seen as a true freethinker, although 20th-century notions of him as an anarchist or libertarian cannot be applied with certainty. Korbaugh described the Bible and dogmas like the Trinity and the divine nature of Christ as only the work of men. Also, like his contemporary Baruch de Spinoza, he argued that God is identical with nature and that nothing exists outside of nature. Therefore, he argued, natural science, not theology, was the real theology of the world. In his views about the secularization of the Republic of the Netherlands and the limitation of ecclesiastical powers, he argued that religion is irrational and only maintains its position through deception and violence. He wrote in books T. New Warden Boek der Regten, The New Dictionary of Rights, 1664, and in Een Bloemhof van Allerlei Lieflijkheid, A Flower Garden of All Sorts of Delights, 1668, under the pseudonym Vriederik Warmond. This book explained various technical terms and foreign words. The church authorities were offended by the dictionary's articles on religious and political topics, forcing Korba to flee to Kalemborg, a legally autonomous town in another province that would not extradite him, and then to Leiden. Adrian Korba fiercely opposed the Dutch Reformed Church in his third work, Een Ligt Scheinende in Diestere Plotsen, om te verligten de Vornomste Sacken der Godsgeleerdheid en Godsdienst. A light shining in dark places, to shed light on matters of theology and religion. He went to Leiden, where he was betrayed by his printer, who knew the contents of his work, and arrested by the authorities. His brother Johannes was also arrested. In 1668, he was found guilty of blasphemy and was sentenced to ten years in the Rasfus jail at Amsterdam, where he had to do forced labor, followed by exile and a 4,000 guilder fine. He died a few months later in 1669 in the Rasfus due to the pressures of prison life. His publications were largely destroyed by the authorities of the Republic. His brother Johannes was released because of lack of evidence against him, but he never published again. He died three years later, in 1672. Korba's story shows that the tolerance of the Dutch Republic, however great compared with almost every other country in the world at the time, was certainly not unlimited. Works T. New Wardenboek der Regten Een Bloemhof van Allerlei Lieflijkheid Sonder Verdriet Een Ligt Schinende in Diestere Plotsen, om te verligten de Vornomste Sacken der Godsgeleerdheid en Godsdienst reissued 1974 Topic. Sources Nordervliet, Nelik. Helden van het Vrije Ward. NRC Handelsblad, 18 June 2007. Israel, Jonathan I., Radical Enlightenment, Philosophy and the Making of Modernity 1650-1750, Oxford University Press, USA, 2002. External links Adrian Korbaugh, Precursor of the Enlightenment Biography in the Koninklijke Bibliotheek van Nederland Photograph of page from Een Bloemhof, from the Library of Frederick III of Denmark